Let us pray. Father, we are praying that you speak to us now and grant us the grace that we'll be able to arise and carry out what you are teaching us in the world in Jesus' name. Baba, that we are care about what's all about you. Cares if we are Lord of a Latin DD. We are trusting that you will not leave us alone in the battles of life against sin and against all the inadequacies of the human nature. We know that you are going to help us and we are going to be victorious every day of our lives in Jesus' name. We pray that the, the victory that we ought to have, so that on the last day we'll see you face to face without any guilt, without any regret, without any condemnation, but we'll be happy in seeing your face and happy to live with you forever. We pray that that kind of strength, ability, support, you will grant to every one of us in Jesus' name. We pray, O Lord, that you help us that whether in the private or in the public, where people are or where there are no people, you'll grant us the victory. In Jesus' name, we pray. Today we're looking at an important subject taught in the Word of God. We're looking at maintaining daily victory. The greatest battle or the greatest consequence that man will ever be called upon to fight is the battle against sin. The feet in that battle causes sorrow on earth and it will cause suffering in eternity. Satan's plan, Satan's desire, and the way he directs all his arrows and darts and temptation is so that he can keep all men and women and young people defeated in sin so as to draw them to live with him in hell forever. Our hope and joy is that God has made a way of escape, a way whereby we can have the victory so that we can be free from sin now and be happy living with him in eternity. In Psalm 119, we're looking at verses 1, 2, and 3. Psalm 119, verses 1, 2, and 3. Blessed are the undefiled in the way who walk in the law of the Lord. Blessed are they that keep his testimonies and that seek him with the whole heart. 
They also do no iniquity. They walk in his ways. Here the Bible introduces us to the really blessed people. The people that heaven will smile at, the people that God Himself will say, These are mine, and the people that Christ Himself will say, These are the people that have the benefit of Calvary. In these few verses, God himself, in his word, describes the blessedness and the reason why these people are blessed in the sight of God. In verse 1 it says they are undefiled in the way. That is in this way moving on from earth to heaven. In this pilgrimage walking with the almighty God. In this path that we are following, from here to the yonder place, these people, they, they keep their garment, they keep their conduct, they keep their lifestyle, they keep everything related to them, and they are undefiled, without blame, without reproach, without sin, without evil, without all the things that normally attach themselves. So the children of men, they are undefiled in the way. So if you are when you are ye, near na ye, sir, near a dry ye, but no longer let you marry. Nee, barry one year, yes, I see a yama. You are when you are bare, what pay, nibble born now, Yanipe, I saw the don't want to query. Yanipe, you are deep by Jack, our reading, why you want. One para, one macron, no go, well, you may not be a lady. It said in verse 1, who walk in the law of the Lord. They, they do not walk in the ways of men. They walk in the law of God. They do not walk in the system of the world. They do not walk in the suggestions of men they do not walk in the traditions of men they walk in the law of the lord inside in verse 2 they keep his testimony they guard the testimonies of the Lord. They embrace the testimonies of the Lord. They hold on to the testimony of the Lord. And anything that they will come across in life that will take away the testimony of the Lord, the approval of the Lord away from them, away from their lives, they will avoid. They will run away from. They keep his testimonies. They seek him with the whole heart. With all their heart, all their souls, all their mind, all their intention, all their desires, all aspiration. All the ambition, everything within them, they are making everything to come into seeking the Lord. Friends will seek money. Friends will seek popularity. Friends will seek political ways. Friends will seek to be known in this world. Friends will seek many, many other things in this world. But they have a central, single purpose. Only wanting to seek the way of the Lord, the pleasure of the Lord, the delight of the Lord, all through their lives. O so we pay one wow lua, but look book walk on. In no one, a me one, book way, look at one, a room walk on one, a room of one, what you book bore, what cook up or little young, can we pay you one more wow lua? I want a lemon wow, I want a lefe, then you bow juma, 
awon elomira le fe ko pa ki won ron won sese nu eto se lo sugba o kan ni won se ni pe won wa oluwa ati ona re nigba gogo they also do no iniquity ba kan na ni won ko de se pelu they see iniquity there in the world they will not touch it won ri ese ni igboro sugba won ni fowo kan they see iniquity in the market they will not buy it won ri ese ni oja won ko ni ra they see iniquity in the theater they will not watch it won ri ese ni ile jo won ko ni wo they see iniquity over the media they will not listen to it won mo ri awon ese ninu awon ti a fi han ninu ero gongon won ko ni wo they see iniquity in the village they will not partake in it won ri ese ni abule ko won ni ko pa ninu re they see iniquity in the extended family they have no part in it won o ri ese ninu e bi won to gboro won ko ni lowo ninu re they see iniquity in the office they are not going to put their hand there won ri ese ni ile ise won won ko ni towo bonu re they also do no iniquity won ko de se pelu they walk in his way won rin ni ona re what kind of people are we talking about iru awon eyan la owo la nso nipa re we are talking about people like enoch an so awon eyan gege bi enoch o the people that walk with god we are told about enoch that he walked with god 300 years he was not defiled He walked in the ways of the Lord. He was seeking after the Lord. He kept his testimony untarnished, above reproach. He did no iniquity. He so walked with God three hundred years. The Lord took him away. He translated him to heaven. Asoni pa ino kupi oba lori ni odo odo oba lori o pa eri remo ko je ki o nko ko be eri re je ko je ki a le bu tabi a ba won kan ko farahan ninu aye re nitori ibarin to ba olorun re olorun wi pe o wu ohun olorun si mu kuro ni aye what kind of people are we talking about iru awon eyan wo la nso nipa won we are talking about people like joseph an so nipa awon eyan bi joseph o seen invited him he said no e se n pe pe ko ma bo o ni rara o he tried wanted to lodge in his heart he said no e ko ri ra fe fi di kale so ka ya re o ni be ko evil wanted to attach itself to him he said no he said be o fe su ara re ko ma oni be ko o wickedness and evil wanted to associate with joseph he said no e wa ika ati wa pa won fe darin won po mo joseph o oni be ko when he was alone when he was with his brethren when he was in egypt when he was in the prison anywhere he found himself he kept the testimony of the lord without reproach without sin nigba to wa lo nikan nigba to wa pelu awon ibatan re nigba to wa ni ile egypt nigba to wa ni ile inu ile tubu isa ibi tabi wa bi afe so mo ani be ko pa ere re mo what kind of people are we talking about iru awon eyan wo la nso ni pa won talking about people like samuel an so ni pa awon eyan bi samuel that so of nine and finish has doing evil committing sin right at the gate of their temple in shilo but he said no my eyes will not see evil my hand will not touch evil my tongue will not speak evil my heart will not meditate about evil and god testified of that man and he also has the children of his he said since i've been young I be with you here now I am old which of you have I taken anything from which of you would have convinced me and convicted me of evil or sin they said we are witness you have not done any evil these are the people that are defiled in the way Samuel ori finias ati o fin o fini awon omo awon omo eli won yi ti won dese Papa ju lo won dese yi lenu ago sugbo pin ninu okan re pe oju mi ki yo we bi owo mi ki yo kan ibi ibi ki yo raye ni okan aya mi nigba to se ni ojo e waju o pe awon omo Israel lati jeri gbe wi pe lati gba ewe mi titi di igba ti mo darugo ta ni ninu oyin ti mo fi eru gba nkan kan lowo re ko si si eni keni ninu won eni ti o le fe sun ibi kan iru awon eyan bayi ni an so nipa won we talking about people like shedrach meshach and abednego an so nipa awon eyan bi shedrach shedrach meshach and abednego everybody fell down worshiping the idol that nebuchadnezzar dressed up but he said no it may be persecution it may be suffering in the fire it may be rejection we may be the odd people out we may be ostracized 
and isolated and segregated as people that are not social, as people that are not in conformity with the people of this generation, of this age. We're going to keep the testimony of the Lord. These people, they were the people undefiled in the way. We're talking about people like Daniel. He saw the wine of the king free of charge. He saw it there. He said, it will not enter my mouth. The dainty food that had been sacrificed to idol, it was available to him. He said, I'd rather die of hunger than eat anything sacrificed to idol. He knew there were hungry lions waiting for anybody that prayed to the Jehovah God in heaven. If you prayed within 30 days, he knew that those lions were waiting at the lion's den. He said, I'd rather pray and live in the lion's den. That was the man that purposed in his heart that he will not defile himself. Come what may, whatever the suffering, whatever the persecution, whatever you are going to say about him, whatever you are going to write about him. He said, I have a covenant with Almighty God. I will not live in sin. I will not be defiled in the way. All the time I stay in Babylon, I will keep the testimony of the Lord. <laughs> Those are the blessed people. They are blessed on earth, they will be blessed in heaven. They are blessed in Christ, they will be a blessing to all the people in Christ. They are blessed in the fold, they are blessed on the field, they are blessed everywhere because they are not defiled in the way. Blessed are the undefiled in the way who walk in the law of the law. Blessed are they that keep his testimonies and that seek him with the whole heart. They also do no iniquity. They walk in his way. This is the life God is calling every one of us to. He wants us to live in victory every day of our lives. In the marketplace as well as in the home. Among our relatives and among our neighbors, everywhere we find ourselves, he wants us to be the undefiled in the way. But I need to tell you that man cannot be victorious without coming into a relationship and partnership with the Almighty God. Only in Christ and through Christ can we have victory over sin. 
ati ni pase kristi ni kasoso ni afi le nye ishe gon lori eshe let's consider three points one by one eje ki agba o meta ye wo ni kokan number one christ in man and man in christ a koko kristi ni nwe ni yon e ni yon ni no kristi christ in man and man in Christ. Christy, ni nwe ni yon, e ni yon, ni no Christy. Number two, means for victory. Ekeji, I want na ishego. What are the things that a man in Christ, a person who, who say, in who such Christ is living, the things he will have to do, the things he will have to consider, the things he will have to take into consideration, so that daily Timely victory will be his own overseen. Kini kati eni tio wani no Christi eni ti Christi ngbenore kini ru eni ben lati she lo jojuma tio village ike lo jojuma ni ba gogo yo maji ase ajago she go lori ese. Number three, escape for your life. Iketa sa sa la fu emi re. Escape for your life. Sa sa la fu emi re. Maybe you don't know. But ya ko yo. The devil has a big chain in his hand. Esu o ni e won la lo ore. With every sin a man commits, that chain is wound around you so much that there comes a time that the chain is so heavy the chain is so tight the chain is so knotted together the chain is so heavy and a burden that it becomes almost impossible near impossible for you to get free again that is why the present moment now where you have the voice of god calling upon you you escape for your life <laughs> Ti eni ba ti nda be ni esu nlo ewon yi lati fi ma de oniton be ni yo ma de to be ge to je pe ewon yi yo ha gadi gadi yo si de eru wo lori eni be to je pe tiki ba si anu olorun boya boya lai lai ni oniton le bo lowo re nitori na ni o ti je pe ni akoko yi bi o se ngo oro olorun o lati sa sa la fun emi re number 1 Christ in man and man in Christ. Akoko Christi ni nwe niyan ati eniyan ni no Christi. I said before any of us can have the victory, we have to have Christ inside us. Mo so saju pe ki eni ke ni no wa ko to le ni isegun an lati ni Christi ni no wa. In John chapter 15 verse 5. Ni no Johanu ori ke dogun ese ikarun. I am the vine and ye are the branches. I am the vine and ye are the branches. The greatest relationship a man on earth can have is to become a branch in the vine of the Lord Jesus Christ. If it were possible for any Old Testament personality, if it were possible for any Old Testament patriarch or prophet, if it were possible for any Old Testament person to have become so intimate, so very close, attached unto the very Son of God like this, they would have given anything. They would have sacrificed heaven and earth they would have sacrificed all possession so that they can be so closely united attached with the very son of god but at their own time it wasn't that possible until christ came and he said now a great relationship a deep relationship and heavenly relationship is possible that he is the vine and you a human being an offering of adam you can be a branch in the vine ti o ba se se fun eni keni ninu ma je mo lai lai ti o ba rorun fun awon baba nla wa ninu ma je mo lai lai ti o ba se se fun awon woli igbani ninu ma je mo lai lai lati ni iru ibasepo eleeti an pe wa si pelu kristi loni to ba se se fun won lati ni ni won le fi onko on rubo aye ati orun won le fi rubo onko ti yo ba gba ni won ki ba fi fun lati le ni iru ibasepo ti o lo laye lati je eka lara ajara kristi eleeti olorun si n pe ewu ati emi si pe an lati ni ibasepo ki adara ko mo kristi ti se ajara ka si je eka re he said he that abideth in me and I in him, the same bringeth forth much fruit, for without me ye can do nothing. Oh, so we pay any tongue be no me. 
ati emi ninu re o ni yo so eso opolopo nitori ni yiya ara yin kuro lodo mi e ke lo ese o nkan he that abideth in me man in christ and i in him christ in man ati eni ti o ngbe inu mi eniyan ninu christi ati emi ninu re yen christi ninu eniyan it takes a combination of those two relationships before we can bear the fruit of righteousness and be victorious over sin over evil over iniquity over everything in the world i in him he in me christ in man man in christ o di igba ti asepo onipa meji yi to ba papo to do kan ninu aye eniyan nigba na la to le eso ododo nigba na la to le je asegun ninu aye wa emi ninu yin eyin ninu mi christi ninu eniyan eniyan ninu christi as you think about what jesus said that he wants to dwell in man i in him bi o se nro o ti christi fe se ninu eniyan emi ninu re he is the lion of the tribe of judah o ni kini un eya judah he is the victorious one o na ni asegun ni he is the great conqueror over hell and the grave and satan and sin and spirit o ni asago segun lori oran apadi lori esu lori awon emi okokun lori gbogbo ese aye he is the master of angels and the master the controller of all circumstances o ni oluwa gbogbo awon angeli bakan na ni oluwa lori gbogbo ayida ida ye yi is the one that has all power and all authority on earth under the earth and in heaven anywhere everywhere this christ that wants to live in you is the one that has all power and when he says something nothing in hell nothing on earth can contradict it he says something and it's established forever oni oluwa ni aye yi oni gbogbo agbara laye ni isalele lorun Christi to ni gbogbo agbara yi lori gbogbo ayida ida ati laye lorun ati ni isalele o nlo wa so pe o fe fi inu re se bugbe eni to je pe to ba soro gbolo nkan ko tin to le tako laye ati lorun angel see him and they tremble awon angel ri won wariri satan sees him and he flees away satan ri o fe rege and the flesh sees him it melts away awon ara ri papa won si won yo da lo demon see him they begin to cry out of fear and terror awon emi okoko won foju gan ni re eberu bojo what better see keep it and when he enters into man he comes to enter into you with power and authority that is why if christ is living inside you sin cannot be victorious over you anymore because that christ that comes to live inside you is victorious and he gives the victory that is why it says i am the vine ye are the branches he that abideth in me and i in him the same bring forth much fruit fruit of righteousness for without me ye can do nothing eni ti o ji ajago segun lori ese o lo so pe o fe ma gbe ninu re nigba to ba wa wonu re o wa pelu agbara o wa pelu ase nigba ti o si ti wa pelu agbara ati ase eni to ti segun ese to ti segun esu yo fo lagbara lati je asegun ninu aye re idi ni ti o so wi pe emi ni ajara eyin ni eka eni ti o ngbe inu mi ati emi ninu re o ni yo ma so eso iye eso ododo nitori ni yiya ara yin kuro lodo mi e ko le se o nkan when christ comes into man and that same man comes into christ when man swallows up christ and embraces christ and believes in christ within him every part of his heart every compartment of his heart every room of his heart the authority and the power and the presence of christ is living there if sin comes in bringing temptation you will overcome nigbati enikan ti christi ba wonu re ti eni ti christi na wonu re yi ti o na wa wonu christi ti o si je pe eni be o wa gbe christi mi to je pe gbogbo okoro kan du tin be ninu okan re gbogbo ikolo fi tin be ninu okan re christi wa gba ko so pata pata pelu isegun ati agbara ti ese ba wa wa ni gba na lati mu idan wo wa lati le mu ki o fi dire mi agbara ati isegun ti jesus tin be to fi ninu re yo mu oje asegun when in your heart in your mind in your spirit in your thought in your desire every 
place within you, you are saturated. Every cell within your body, every part of you, Christ. I mean Christ of the Bible. I mean the very Son of God. I mean the one that conquered death and conquered the grave and conquered sin and conquered Satan. I mean the only begotten of the Father. I mean the only one that was on the cross and he said, it is finished. I mean the one that came to Patmos, to John, and he said, I have the key. Of David in my hand, I open, no man can shut. I shut, no man can open. When that Christ, the Messiah, and the one high in heaven, the one that all the angels are worshipping, when you open your heart and Christ enters in, uh, how can adultery come? How can fornication come? And then you bow down. If that Christ that we're talking about, the Lord of Lords and the King of Kings, when he enters into your heart, victory over sin, authority over sin, power over sin will be your possession. You'll be walking in the way of the Lord without any defilement. Christi <laughs> Eni ti oro ati aye njubare. Eni ti o seda aye ati oro. Eni ti o jayi pe o so pe o pari lori agbelebu. Eni ti o so wipe mo ni kokoro it ka jakobu lo wami. Eni ti o so wipe ti mo bati ko sento le si. Ti mo basi si ko sento le ti. Ni ba ti kristi ti mo so ni pare. Oba ogo, oluwa, oluwa. Oba ti mbo le keji. Ni ba to ba wano re. Ah ah. Ba wani agbele se le wabe. Ba wo ni pa saga ti wo le se wo be nigba ti oluwa eni ti o je oluwa fun gbogbo awon angeli to ba ngbe inu re daju daju isegun yi o je ti re look at second corinthians chapter 5 verse 17 iwo wo corinth keji ori kan re se keta de logo therefore if any man be in christ is a new creature old things are passed away behold all things have become new praise the lord Nitori na bi enike ni ba wa ninu Kristi o di eda titun ohun atijo ti koja lo ki yesi wo si di titun eyin Oluwa when a man leaves the world and he comes into Christ when a man leaves all the theater and he comes into Christ when a man leaves all leaves all the idol worship and all the evil sin all the iniquity every sin in the world every sin of satan and he runs into Christ if any man be in Christ. He is a new creature. It is not that he was and is no more now or that he will be when he gets to heaven but he cannot be now right now. In the present tense, while he's living in this evil world, he is different. He is a new creature. All things are passed away, and behold, look at him very well. All things in his life have become new. Nigba ti e ne kan ti oba fi a yesile ti o wasi no Christi. Nigba ti e ne kan ti oba fi le josile ti o wasi no Christi. Nigba ti e ne kan ti oba fi orisa ese ati awon iwa bi to je ti satani ti ru eni be wa sa wonu Jesu Christi bibeli wa so pe nitori na bi eni keni ba wa ni no Christi o di eda titun ki se pe o je eni a eda titun nigba kan ri ko je be mo tabi pe ni bo ba se lojo waju yo di eda titun ko ni ri be ni sisin rara o o so pe ru eni be ni sisin yi gan o di eda titun ohun atijo o ti ki o ti di o o ti koja lo o wa ni ke wa kesi Old things, old line, old diplomacy, old pride, old secret adultery, old fornication, old boyfriend, girlfriend, old gambling, old drinking and dancing, old theater going, all the old life, old idol worship, old superstition, old things are passed away. Behold, look at him very well. Examine his life. Look at his uh, conduct. Look at his behavior. Behold, look at him in the house. Look at him in the office. Look at him on the street. Look at him anywhere you can find him. Look at him in the night. Look at him behind the curtain. Look at him in the public. Behold, all things in his life, they have become new. Iru atijo otikoja lo. Iju aye tatijo otikoja lo. Iborisa tatijo otikoja lo. Pansaga ati agbere tatijo otikoja lo. Ta ma ba o ma gbeni ato ma gbeni desi agbere papo gbogbo eleyi o ti koja lo gbogbo gbogbo ti do to gbogbo iro pipa agbere sise pa saga gbogbo iwa ti jo patak patak ninu aye re o ti koja lo o wa so pe kiesi iwo wo daada ni sise yi ni gbangba ni o ni kokon ni o 
ni le se ni o ni bi ki bi ti e ba ti se alaba pe apade re e wo igbe aye re dara dara o ti wa ri na ni pe o n gbogbo ninu aye re o ti di otun oh you say why are there so many people saying that they are in Christ and they do not live this kind of new life o wa nbe ri pe ki wa lode to je pe opolopo awon eniyan so pe awon wa ni no christi iru igbe aye to to ta nso ni pa re won o gbegbe aye yi not everyone that says unto me lord lord shall enter into the kingdom of god ki se gbogbo awon ti pe mi ni oluwa oluwa ni o wa ijobo run not everyone carrying bible going to a particular church not every one of them has christ and grace living within them ki se gbogbo awon tin gbe beberi ti won lo si ijo kan ni pato ki se gbogbo awon lo ni christi ati ori ofe to ngbe ninu won and an empty bag cannot stand upright ako fi fo ti a ba fi dire go le ko le duro gban gban a christless graceless man cannot live a victorious life eni ti ko ni christi ti ko si ni ori ofe olorun ko le gbeje aye asegun ninu aye it's like a lamp without oil o da bi fi ti la ti o le It's like a bulb without electric current passing into it. It is like a vehicle without fuel. It is like a man that does not have that heavenly grace, that heavenly goodness, and that heavenly power of Christ living within him. He cannot live a victorious upright life. If Christ is in you already, then any time temptation comes, you should be able to stand. Because you ought to remember that greater is He that is in you than He that is bringing the temptation to you from the world. The one living inside you is greater than the flesh. The one living inside you is greater than temptation. The one living inside you is greater than all the bad examples you can see in society. And if you let him live big and live strong and live powerful in your heart, you will not be falling and rising every day. You'll be walking in the way of the Lord undefiled in the way. Point number two, the means for victory. Let's look at First John chapter five. You are no kini ori karu ese keni ati karu. For whatsoever is born of God. Overcomes the world, and this is the victory that overcomes the world, even our faith. Nitori o luku luku eni ti abine pati o loro o segwaye e yisi ni segoti o segwaye ani ibagowa. That's the great weapon the believer has to overcome the world. Ele ni owe ya to gadu loti o ni bagon ni lati fi segwaye. When he talks of overcoming the world, my brother, my sister, ni bato so ni pati segwaye ara kuni ati ara beri ni. That means overcoming the God of this world. Iye ni peko segu olorun aye yi. Overcoming the prince of the power of the air. Iye ni peko segu adara ti mbelo furufu. Overcoming the systems of the world. Iye ni peko segu asaye. Overcoming the arrows and all the suggestions coming from the world. Iye ni peko segu gogu ofa ati aba to nfo jade lati nu aye. Overcoming all the temptations in the world that are making many people that do not know the way to heaven fall down every day lati se gogogbo idanwo ati gogbo nkan ti o mu awon ti ko mo na olorun to mu won ki o subu lojojuma ko le se gun won lojojuma overcoming all the things in the world that glitters like gold but is not gold lati se gogogbo nkan to nda bi wura ninu aye sugba ti wa ki se wura overcoming the worldliness the painting and all the cosmetics and the things of the world anything in the world not bringing glory to god the person that believes in god he 
overcome overcoming all the influences of the world some people who say they are christians some people who carry Bible on the head or under their armpit, some people that read the Bible more than Jehovah's Witness, all these people, the world is influencing them. The temptations of the world are influencing them. The customs of the world are influencing them. The pride of the world is influencing them. The cinema shows of the world influencing them. The pornography, the literature of the world influencing them. My friend, whosoever is born of God, overcometh the world, and this is a victory that overcometh the world, even our faith. The moment you believe in Christ, the influence of heaven will cancel the influence of the world in your life. The moment you believe in Christ, the influence of Christ will cancel the influence of Satan in your life. The moment you believe in Christ, the influence of the word of God will cancel the influence of tradition and superstition in your life. Whatsoever is born of God overcometh the world. Sometimes you are going on the street and you will see somebody talking about Christ and he's calling other people to believe in Christ and you look at him, you look at what you can see. You can see the influence of the world upon him. The world is conquering him. And the Babin Saloon of the world is conquering him. And all the things they are doing in the world, the hairstyle for men and the hairstyle for women, and all the things you can see, the influence of the world, the influence of the world. You look at him very well from top to bottom, and you will see that it is the influence influence of the world that is controlling him. My friend, if we're really born again, if we're born of God, if we're entered into this spiritual life, if the God of heaven has translated us out of the world into Christ, and now we are in Christ, and Christ is in us, and we have faith in God, that faith in God will make us to overcome all the influences of the world. <laughs> Oti wa sa kiesi ni pe asabi a wang ma kongri o diyo ni sen geron wang o ti shè gongre. Asabi a wang ma beri o ni sen seron wang o ti shè gongre. I pati a yen kolori a wang niyan patak patak lo ti be mi. I rwe niyan be wa afi hon wa ari bang ba wik pe kosi ni no kristi. Tori pe onre mi ti a ba wane no kristi. Ti a daron loro ti wano wang ti a si ti wano wang loro. I pa ye yi koni lag bara lori wa. Tori pe eni keni ti a ba ti kon loro bi o shè gongre ye. Si e man who says he's in Christ. A woman that says she is in Christ, the language of the world, the dirty jokes of the world, and all those things that people are saying in the world that they'll be playing about, playing with sin, playing with iniquity, playing with hellfire, all the jokes, all the language of the world has conquered them. All the lying of the world has conquered them. The diplomacy of the world has conquered them. My friend, when somebody believes in Christ, whatsoever is born of God overcometh the world. <laughs> Or so, so you can't son in a year, oh, I learn no re. 
kama atakuro so ke ama se fe o ti ko dara o wa lenu re gbolohun gbogbo awon omo so to omo garage le mo ba pade lenu re iru eni be aye ti segun won o tin sele ninu aye o ti segun won ore mi bibeli so pe olukuluku eni ti a bi nipa ti olorun ohun lo segun aye i pray you will be an overcomer Adura mi ni pe wa ji asegun That when the angel see you going they say that's one of the people of God he has overcome the world To be ge nigbati awon angeli ba ri awon so pe okan ninu awon eyan olorun ni o ti segun aye That when almighty God sees you he will be proud of you he will point to you and say that's one of my children he has faith in my only begotten son he has overcome the world To be ge nigbati olorun orun baba Jesus Christ nigbati o ba ri o yo le fowo so ya pe on ni lo yan okan ninu awon mo mi o ti gba and when we who read the Bible, we who understand the Bible, we who believe the Bible, when we see you on the street, when we see you outside, when we see you in the church, there will be the joy of the Lord. From our hearts, saying those are the people, they have faith in Christ, they have overcome the world. And when you come in, you don't bring in the world, because there's no world in you, no worldliness in you. When you come into the fellowship of the people of God, you bring in Christ. You bring in the gospel. You bring in the power of God. You bring in the presence of God. And every time we see you, our hearts will be full of joy because these are the groups of people, the peculiar people, the special kind of people that have overcome the world. May God make every one of us like that today in Jesus name. <laughs> Nigba ti awa ti o ye bibeli ye nigba ti awa ti a ni okan kan pelu olorun nigba ti a ba ri o inu wa yo le yo okan wa yo le bale a o le to ka si o ni ta wi pe ni tooto okan ninu awon ti o ti mo olorun ni yi awon eniyan olorun ni tooto ni yi nitori pe ko si aye ninu re mo ko si le pa aye ninu aye ninu aye re mo ibi kibi ti o ba nlo o nlo pelu christ ti ngbe ninu re nigba ti o ba si wa ti o wa saarin wa Tori pe mbo wa sa arin wa o ni mu aye wa nitori pe ko saye ninu re mo asaye ti fi aye re sile nitori na gbogbo ogba igbe aye wa yo ma yo okan wa yo ma do pe awon eniyan won na ni awon eniyan olorun awon eniyan oto adura mi ni pe loni olorun yo se gbogbo wa be ni oruko jesu in psalm 119 ori david ori kokan de ni ogofa from verse 9 lati ese ikesan psalm 119 verse 9 ori david ori kokan de ni ogofa with that shall a young man cleanse his way by taking heed thereto according to thy word nipa ewo ni odo makunrin yo fi mu ona re mo nipa iki esi gaga bi oro re you see this word of god we're reading to you today ori oro olorun ti an ka fun oloni this word of god is powerful oro olorun yo lagbara it is mighty o to bi it is a sword of the spirit o je ida ti emi if you have it in your heart ti o ba ni ninu okan re you have it in your mouth you have it in your hand you have it in your thought you have it in your desire you have it in your ambition this word of God if it is at the central part of your very life it is like fire it will burn everything coming from the devil it is like water it will wash and cleanse every influence that is coming from the world it is like a hammer it will break into pieces everything coming from sin coming from the world trying to attach itself unto you where with us shall a young man cleanse his way by taking it there to according to thy word you see we have to be very watchful as we become a child of God Christ in you and you in Christ temptation will come but you are very very watchful you will not allow Satan to grab you and take you back into the pit where you were dug out 
to keep your victory over sin you have to think of victory as the greatest sin as the greatest prize in your life the greatest possession of your life and every time you'll be planning for victory you will not be planning for defeat you will not be making provision for the flesh any book that will excuse sin you will not plan to read it any conversation that will excuse sin and say that may not be too bad after all after all there are people that may be even reading this bible and have their weaknesses you say that's not my plan i plan to be victorious therefore you will avoid every conversation that will make you careless in your life you will remove every stumbling block in your way uh, that stumbling block if I keep it there I will not keep my victory that stumbling block if I keep it there I will not have my victory that other stumbling block if I keep it there I will not have my victory you will remove every stumbling block that will deny you of the victorious life you cut off the right hand any person any individual however useful however close however friendly that person is he wants to lead you into sin into, into giving bribes again into corruption again into all those things they are doing in the world and into those gangs of uh, drug uh, people drug addicts say no I will not attach myself to anything like that you cut off the right hand pluck out the right eye separate yourself from anything that will make you to lose the victory in your life I want to be a word to you know I want to be I want to let you to man for we pay care your man that's it. I want to let you to man for I want to go go loro. So why you to ni ko die for your for man one. Why get go 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 to 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 every day of my life every hour of the day every day of the week every week of the month every month of the year i'm going to ah uh, enoch did it samuel did it how about joseph he did it how about shadrach meshach and abednego how about daniel how about paul the apostle he said you are witnesses and god also how holily and justly and unblameably we have walked before you since other people it was possible for them by the grace of god it will be possible for me therefore you will avoid every besetting sin that is knocking at the door wanting to defeat you wanting to pull you back into sin again <laughs> Gbogbo you will pray earnestly until that victory will come if it takes you praying for hours if it takes you praying in tears if it takes you crying out to almighty god if it takes you whatever you will pray earnestly fervently wholeheartedly you will not worry about any other person you'll not worry about any other thing you'll say what i'm looking for is victory i must be victorious over sin how how can sin reign over my mortal body again why will not I reckon myself dead indeed unto sin and alive unto righteousness since Christ died on the cross of Calvary and said it is finished, this thing must finish. 
This sin must not remain in my life. And if you pray like that, all your heart, all your soul, all your mind, and you say, I will not leave this place, I will not let you go, except I have this victorious life, you will have the victorious life. <laughs> Iru adura bi eleyi o le na ni opolopo wakati o le na ni opolopo ojo o le na ni opolopo akoko eleyi ti wa gba to be ge ti wa le gbadura ti wa bi le fa ke kori pe nda o ese ko ni joba lori mi mo ni won gba to je pe Jesu ti ku lori bi agbelebu ti o ti so wi pe o pari ni won gba to ti so pe o pari ki lo de ti ese yo tu wa ma joba lara ara mi ki lo de ti won ka ara mi mo eni ti o ti ku ti o ti wa laaye ni nu ododo ni won gba ti Jesu ti sego fun mi daju daju mo la ti sego ni Wherewithal shall a young man cleanse his way by taking heed thereto according to thy word? Nipa e wo ni odoma kuri yo fi mu ona re mo. Nipa e kie si gege bi oro re. But stand with my whole heart. Have I sought thee? Oh, let me not wander from thy commandment. E se ke wa ti nu ti nu mi bo bo li mi pi si aferi re. Ma se je ki mi si na kuro ni nu asere. Thy word. Have I hid in my heart that I might not sin against thee? Oro re ni mo pa ma li aya mi ki emi ki o ma ba se si o. The time is gone already. Akoko ti lo na. What I mean is the end of the world is very near. O ti mo so ni pe o kwe aye ti su me le o. What I mean is the signs are on the ground in the firmament and in the sky that the trumpet will soon sound. O ti mo so ni pe bo gwa awon ya awon ami gbeyin aye o lo wa ni le o wa lo furu what I mean is fire and, uh, and, and, and sulfur will soon come upon this world, Sodom and Gomorrah. And as this place is going to burn, where will you be? What I mean is fire and sulfur. Ko ni pe rojo bi sori Sodomu ati Gomorrah aye yi nigba ti nana ba ro bi ojo ni bo ni wo yo wa the trumpeter in heaven is already tuning the trumpet about to blow the trumpet and when the trumpet sounds the skies will open and Jesus Christ will appear and only the people that are holy only the people that are pure only the people that are keeping the victory only the people that are following after the Lord undefiled in the way only those people are the people that will hear the sound of the trumpet and a twinkling of an eye. Our bodies will be changed and will go to be with the Lord. And without holiness, no man shall be there. In that company, no man shall see the Lord. Oh, see, Moshe, now you pay and want to pay your own. What in Bara di Sile Bayi? What in Yeh Ongwe Lo Fere Wangwo? Lati Mwani Mola Sile. Lati Fwai Pena Nigere. Ti Waba Ti Fwai Pena. I want some of your seeds left for Christy Lati Wa Joba. Mo wa so kwenye ba ti Jesu na ba de. La e si wa mi ma ko se se la ti riyo loro. Ni se ju a kan. Ni gare ti oba ti fwa ipe. Ta bi to ba ti yo. A o yi wa kwa da. In Genesis chapter 19 verse 17. Genesis se ori kokan di logo. Genesis chapter 19 verse 17. Genesis se ori kokan di logo. And it came to pass when they brought them forth abroad. They said that he said escape. For thy life, look not behind thee. Stay, uh, neither stay thou in all the plain. Escape to the mountain, lest thou be consumed. What <laughs> These city is filled with idol worship. It is filled with fornication. It is filled with idolatry. It is filled with adultery. It is filled with gambling. It is filled with all kinds of sin. And the trumpet is about to sound. Are you going to still remain among them? Come up from among them. And be ye separate, says the Lord. Touch not the unclean thing, and I will receive you, and I will be your father, and you shall be my sons and daughters, says the Lord. This is the day, this is the time to escape for your life. Aye ti awa, tabi iluyi, okufuyi wa gbere, ati pansaga, okufuyi wa iborisa, ati ese gogo, okufuyi wa idibaje, ati onirunri wa ipa, ton godekan, te wa si tofi di pagbasa anri wa, ele ni akoko na, ele ni wakati na, ito ni pedoma, 
When Christ comes, all tears will be wiped away. All suffering and sorrow will end. All battle will come to an end. When Christ comes, he will take us to his own home. When Christ comes, all the things, all the agony you have gone through, all the persecution you have gone through, everything will end. When Christ comes, it will be joy unspeakable. It, it will be joy everlasting. And you will be in heaven. And Jesus will say, Welcome. You are among the overcomers. Among the victorious people. There's no other thing I'm looking for. There's no other thing I'm listening to. I'm listening for the trumpet sound. And for Jesus, we are waiting. Listening for the trumpet sound. And then it will be us and Jesus. Living ever with our God. Jesus only, Jesus ever. Jesus all in all we see. It's our Savior. It's our sanctifier. It's our healer. It's the baptizer. And it's the coming king. Living is about to come. Rise up and get ready. I say, Lord, I want to be victorious. I don't want to perish through the world. I'm waiting for Jesus. I'm looking for Jesus. I'm preparing for Jesus. I want victory because of Jesus. I want Christ in me. I want Christ in me. And I want to be in Christ. What are you waiting for? Are you born again? Have you confessed your sin? Are you free from your sin? Are you free and free indeed? Are you living in sin privately? Are you a child of God? Are you a child of God? Are you victorious in the office? Are you victorious in the market? Are you victorious in the house? Are you victorious in the church? Are you victorious with your son? Are you victorious with your wife? Are you victorious? Are you victorious with the children? Are you victorious in the ball? Are you victorious in the world? Are you victorious everywhere? We are waiting for the coming of the Lord. We are waiting for the coming of the Lord. We are waiting for the coming of the Lord. We are waiting for the coming of the Lord. Escape for your life. Escape for your life. Escape for your life. Don't remain in sin. Don't remain in sin. Escape. 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 The Lord is coming. The Lord is coming. The Lord is coming. Will you be ready? Will you be ready? Will you be ready? Will you be ready? Are you ready? Without holiness, no man shall see the Lord. Maintaining daily victory. Maintaining daily victory. Victory over sin. Victory over temptation. Victory over the influence of the world. You want to be victorious, call upon the name of the Lord. 